Hey, it's Matt here. I just wanted to uh, pass something along here today. Um, it's about a subject in math that I think is pretty important. It's something that confused me when, when I was in about the fourth grade. And it's still greater than, less than symbol. When we hear that, and we think of probably around late elementary. And, you know, unfortunately you use this in just about every math from about fourth grade on. And, and this is through college algebra, too. I mean, you use it with um, inequalities, you use it uh, graphing. And if you don't have a firm understanding of it, then it's going to continue to cause you confusion, like it did me, until I just taught myself and, and came up with a, an easier way to, to reframe it in my mind. But anyways, most people say the alligator eats the bigger number. Now, in my brain, you have something eating something. There's, a, there's something small, there's something big next to it. Typically, like predators, uh, predator prey, that whole concept, usually you eat something um, smaller. The larger thing wins or whatever. So I would always look at the big number and the small number as kind of like competing with each other, not so much an alligator eating it. So in my mind, I'm like, why would the alligator eat the bigger number? It should eat the small number. Small is weak, you know, smaller, weaker, it loses. So it just didn't make any sense to me. So parents, teachers, kids, please forget the alligator. Um, use the point. That's, that, you know, when you turn it on its side, it looks like an arrow. Point to the smaller number. That's it. Just point to the smaller number. Game over, case closed. And then every time you see one of those inequalities or those greater than, less than, you'll know, okay, point to the smaller number. And like I said, I struggled with this for years. They even had me see like a, an intervention lady for this in like the, when I was nine years old. And she even kept saying, alligator eats the bigger number. So I, I didn't know how to verbalize my confusion with it at the time, but certainly now I do. I think it's, it's the wrong um, method to teach. I mean, some kids might that might stick but really I think just point to the smaller number you're done that's it so um, hopefully this helps you I hope um, it makes more sense for you because that's why I'm doing this I just want to help and uh, it, it certainly helped me and um, I'll be posting some other things here and there on, on math subjects that um, can be better uh, analyzed and broken down for you in ways you can understand it so um, long story short point to the smaller number that's it have a good day.